You know how your inner being would spend your day? Want to know? Your inner being would wake up and feel glad to be awake again. And then think, what's the most fun thing that I could do today? And then your inner being would do it. And you're thinking, I'd get fired. <laughs> and your inner being would do it anyway. Because your inner being knows that when you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on, and when you care about your job, that you won't get fired. You'll get understanding. In other words, things can't go wrong for you. You don't believe this. You don't believe that nothing goes wrong for you when you're tuned in to source energy. But it doesn't. It's resistance that causes all of the things that feel like they're going wrong for you. So it's really important that you be nicer to yourself, to you, to your family too, and to people around you. Yeah, you want to be nice, you want to feel good, but it's really important that you give yourself permission, that you give yourself permission to just feel good because you deserve to feel good without jumping through any hoops that any other human has assigned. Because we promise you, there's no one non-physically that is assigning the hoops that you jump through. I'm going to be happy. I deserve it. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be happy. Do you believe that? Once you know it, Esther remembers looking in the mirror at herself after she'd done something really bad. And she thought, I don't look the same now. Wish I could go back to that time before I did that really bad thing. And we say, you got to get over that because when you look in the mirror, your inner being's looking back at you. There just isn't any of that. You've assigned the resistance that you carry around as guilt. You've assigned the resistance that you carry around as hate. Here's the reason. We want to give you your reason. You think you're right. Think about the last person that you really told off. Think about the last fit you threw this morning. <laughs> Just think about the last fit you threw. And weren't you sure that your perspective was right? Weren't you defending a perspective? But what if everybody gets to be right because everyone is free to create? So start by saying, I was right. And they were too. Just start giving them the benefit of the doubt. Because when you give somebody the benefit of doubt, you're the one that gets the benefit, right? So be nicer to yourself. Be nicer to yourself. Can you think of anything that you want to do that on a day-to-day -day basis you want to do that you don't do? What are some of those things? Do you ever wish you could take a nap in the afternoon? Do you let yourself do that? Or is that just too lazy for you? Is that just something you should not do? Are you trying to honor some other criteria other than doing something that's nice for you? We're just taking your temperature and we want to say to you, you're not even hardly very nice to yourselves. Hardly. In relationship to the way your inner being would treat you if your inner being was calling the shots about how you would behave. So wouldn't one of the first things that you might do that is really nice for yourself is decide that you're going to care more about what you think and less about what they think. But how are you going to do that? Do you get in their face and say, I don't care what you think? Or do you just think, well, you're right too. You're right, but so am I. And you're choosing for you and I'm choosing for me. And then you think, no, you're trying to choose for me and I'm not going to let you get away with that. Whoa, 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 whoa. They can't choose for you, remember? Only you can choose for you. So get that straight right away. And then enjoy the show. Watch them throwing fits to try to get you to be different while you stand there being who you want to be. Loving them anyway. You don't fight back. There won't be a fight for long. Most of the juice in most of the fights are knee-jerk responses. Let them yank your chain or push your button or get your goat. Esther's friend says that her grandmother said, I'm trying to keep my goat in the backyard where no one can get it. <laughs> what are you cooperating to? You are a cooperative component to what? Your well-being, their well-being, or are you cooperating to a myth that it takes pain for gain? 
and that you got to suffer before you're rewarded. Show us one piece of evidence and we'll change our whole act. <laughs> There's no evidence. There's no evidence. Pain brings pain. Worry brings pain. Anger brings pain. And you know what pain is? Pain is not resonating with who you are. Pain is the tug of war that happens when you don't go with the flow of who you really are. Pain is trying to do what humans say that you should do. And a lot of them have got lots of really good ideas. Just don't let anybody convince you that you don't get to do what you want or that it's wrong for you to do what you want or that you shouldn't get to do what you want. This is worth thinking about. If I could do anything that I wanted to do, since I can do anything that I want to do, since I've already told through rockets of desire, my vortex, what those things are, and my inner being knows what they are and has already cued them all up, then what could I do now that would let a little more of it in? That's the question. How could I let a little more of what's already there in? So we're just going to ask you, do you believe that it's there in a vibrational form? Do you believe it? Like the seed in the ground that you can't see that will be a plant? So it's there. Do you believe that you have access to it if you play your vibration right? Do you believe that you can let it in or not let it in? And do you believe that you get to decide how long it is that you don't let it in? Or that you let it in do you believe that you get to decide how much you let in and do you believe that what other people think about you has a lot to do with why you let what you let in if we were standing in your physical shoes we would say to everyone who is willing to listen to us starting with children and anybody else close up the bossy ones especially I have a new plan for my life and they'll say what is it? What is it? What is it? Or they'll say, what is it? What is it? You'll know right away whose side they're on. And you say, I've decided that I'm going to do more things that feel good to me. What do you mean good to you? More things that feel fun and interesting to me. And then say, don't worry. There's a whole lot about you that are fun and interesting to me. I'm not trying to cut you out of anything. I'm just going to reorient myself just for a little while and look for things that feel good to me because I heard somewhere that if I can do that just for a little while, it doesn't happen instantly, but if I can do that for three days, if I can do that for three days, if I can put myself first, oh, don't say that to them, they won't like that. <laughs> if I can choose things that feel better to me for three days, that then... I'll be stronger, I'll be sure, I'll be luckier, I'll have better timing, I'll see more wonderful things, I'll understand what you mean more clearly, the world will look better, the world will feel better, the world will be better. I'm going to give it three days. I'm going to put myself first for three days. What does that mean first? Me, not you? No, that's pushing against. Me and you. But I'm not going to leave me out for you. Me and you, me and you, co-creating, co-creating, co-creating. This isn't feeling exactly practical to a lot of you. Do any of you have jobs? <laughs> Do you? Prepare your announcement. <laughs> and it goes something like this. I love working here. Well, that's not really true. <laughs> These are your exact words. I love working here. Well, really, that's not entirely true. I want to love working here. But I think I've been going about it a little off because I don't really love working here. And you know how I know? Every morning when I wake up, I don't want to come here. <laughs> I don't want to do this, but I make myself come anyway. And I can't explain why. Oh, yeah, money. I come for the money... I come for practical reasons, but I don't want to orient myself for practical reasons so much anymore. I want to orient myself for joyful reasons, for reasons of alignment, because I think that there's a flow of abundance that I'm pinching off by protecting this puny little stream that comes through this job. 
I'm miserable here. I don't mean to be. You all just make me feel that way. <laughs> We're getting a little carried away. But I've decided this is my announcement to all of you. I want to like being here. And so I'm going to spend my time looking for the things about here that are easy for me to love. I'm not going to make anything up. I don't like that, and I don't like that, and I don't like that. But that's not what I'm going to be focused upon. I'm going to be focused upon what's here that I do like. I like that it's an existing business and that it makes things happen. I like that there's revenue flowing and that I get to be part of it. I like that there are other people here, and I like that we are different in who we are, and I like the collective whole that we possibly can be. And I like the part that I could play. Not so much the part I am playing, but I like the potential of the part that I could play. I'm looking forward to this shift that's taking place in me, and I think I found the formula. I think owning up to how I feel, I don't like being here, and then acknowledging what I really want, I want to like being here, and then saying that about every place I am, because every place I am, I figured it out, every place I am, every person, place, and thing has the potential of showing me things wanted and showing me things not wanted. And I've been trying for a long time, say this to anybody who will listen, I've been trying so hard to get everything lined up so that people would behave the way I needed them to behave so that I could feel good and it's not working, it's not even working a little bit. So I've decided to go about this in another way. I've decided to look for things that are already good and I believe that that will spread into more and more and more and more and more and more things. And so, friends at my workplace, I'm so glad that you've listened to me one by one or all in the room where I caught you all at the break room at the same time <laughs> or any of you that are listening at all. I'm glad that you've heard me say this because this is my proclamation to myself. I'm going to be happy, damn it. I'm going to be happy. I deserve it. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to feel good. I want more time off. I want to be paid more for what I do. I want more ideas to flow into my mind. I want to be respected for the ideas that flow. I want to collaborate on a more firm footing with all of you. I want to be the one that brings the best out of you. I want to be in the room when you think of something that you've never thought of before. I want to be the catalyst. I want to be the good feeling reason that you are having ideas that you've never had before. I want to be the one that when you think of me, you feel good when you think of me because I feel good when I think of you. I want to be the one that makes lists of your positive aspects so much so that when I walk into a room with my marbles and you walk into a room with your marbles because I've practiced my good feeling marbles about you, you feel good about you when I'm anywhere near you because that's the way the law of attraction works. I'm not trying to fix the whole world, just my world, just the world that's around me. And right now it's you guys, so watch out because I'm going to be happy whether you like it or not. <laughs> And then tell your family, tell your kids, tell your mates, tell your friends, tell anybody that'll listen. What you doing? Looking for something to feel good about? Here? Yeah. I'm good at it. I can find it anywhere. That's how I'm wired. And the more I look, the more I find, and the more I find, the more of law of attraction puts me in places where there's a higher and higher and higher and higher percentage of things that I want to see everywhere I go. And a lot of the world looks at me and says, why are you the lucky one? Because I got honestly selfish. We've enjoyed this interaction, this leading edge conversation, this newfound empowerment. We're appreciating everything that you are. And we're so eager about what's coming next for you. What is and your realization of it? what is and your realization of it. There's great love here for you. And for now, we are complete.